There's a new house in this neighborhood that's going to get everyone talking. It doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary. This is our living room here. But the technology used to build this home could change the lives of Aboriginal people living on First Nations. Every problem we have with our housing, this house solves it. According to the company, this house can't catch on fire. No mold can grow, no insects can penetrate the walls. It sounds too good to be true, so we tested it out. This blowtorch has been on for about 15 minutes, trying to burn the material that the house is made of, but it just won't catch fire. The man bringing this technology to Canada is a former Manitoba chief who has seen the horrific living conditions on reserves. After watching uh, you know, our houses just go up in, in flames, um, you know, we don't have the infrastructure to put fires out in many of our First Nations. This is the stuff that is not going to catch on fire and is not going to go moldy. Both of it, yes. Both of it. Yeah. So what's it made of? Recycled glass mixed in with resin, and then it's covered with fiberglass skin. It was developed by a UK company for hurricane-prone areas. But a professor from the University of Manitoba was so impressed with the technology, he spent years adapting it to Canada's climate and building codes. I'm quite excited because we, we have, I think, what we call a, a, a 21st century, century technology solving 19th century problems. And I think this is about time that we have uh, taken that step. The materials are manufactured in Milwaukee. The houses will be assembled here and they can also be taken apart for moving. In the next few days, this open house will be drawing First Nations people from all over Canada. So far, five houses have been ordered. The average cost is about $130,000. Marissa Dragani, CBC News, Winnipeg.